Good morning, guys. It has been a long, long time since I've done this, talked to you guys, and actually taken you guys on a fishing trip. But that's what we're doing today. Today is day four of Brennan's trip up here. And the first two days, absolutely, were very, very miserably tough. But we're going out here today uh, after a pretty solid day three outing, which I'll fill you guys in on here in a little bit, um, and hoping to put the pattern together and be able to catch some fish on Brennan's last day here. But yesterday was awesome. We're hoping to repeat it today. Um, conditions look favorable. We're looking at a little bit of wind, which is critical for us. Overcast skies later in the day, and uh, hopefully we're gonna have some big fish to show you guys. Yeah, I'm gonna spot lock us here to let us try and feel through this spot real quick. fish like that and that fish got it pretty good like I said dirty water those bright crankbaits loud crankbaits um, helps those fish find it and that fish got both hooks which is a really good sign because yesterday especially before we started to figure out the color and you know go into bigger baits we had some fish missing it so it's a big key like pay attention to how the fish are eating your bait and you can make adjustments to help you catch and land more fish Fish number one. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. There's a big one. This is the best. Big. Oh, 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 damn it. There's fish here. Megan. Mm-hmm. That was a good one. Megan. That was a good one. Whew. I just slid in a little shallower though. And uh he's there. There's a part of me that wishes this lake didn't have good ones in it. I would not feel bad about not coming back here if they were small. Small mouth. Thank you, sir. Homemade spin head on a little swimmy swim in the perch color. Saw him on the graph and he came over and ate it. These fish are really hard to catch, but like if you're seeing the onesie twosies on the graph, they tend to be smallmouth, big pods of fish. They tend to be the walleye. Um, and this little spin head that I'm throwing, same rod that I'm throwing that hair jig on, it's a 763 from TFO, the one I helped design. It's perfect for this thing. You can throw it forever. It loads up deep in the blank, keeps these fish pinned on these light little single hooks. There's some. Oh, wow. <laughs> Cast those fish, please, dear God. Put it right on. 
Oh, he got you. Does he have you? Yep. Ooh, that's a big one. That's a big one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, that's a bum eye. Oh my, dude, that's a good one. Yeah. Like, have you? I looked down at the screen and I, I just saw like a big blob where my bait was. Yeah, your bait was going down. Dude, I didn't and then feel it bite at all. There were like three or four fish there and he just like started swimming straight towards the boat. Yeah. And I'm like, well, cause he got you. What did you He's say? Got you. you said something he got before you? that. You said something before that though, like, oh, I don't know. You said something like that indicated to me that they were on it. So yeah. I looked down. And then I just saw like a ball. Oh yeah, because like there were three or four that just all corralled that thing. Get back to this fish. A lot of times I don't even touch the trolling motor. Like if they're that close and I hit yeah, the trolling yeah. motor, it's either they're gonna eat it quick and I'm lucky or So what what can you do to combat that? Like I understand they're moving at you, but it's tough, but like can you turn that trolling motor down? Yeah. Like, you, do you can slow down yeah. and just pick it apart. That way you're not like coasting at them while they're moving to you. Mm hmm. Yep. So this is all stuff that I'm trying most to of the time, my... Most of the time, I don't want to look like, I'm not, I don't want to look for fish like here. Mm -hmm. I want to look for them like over there. Right, right. That and way, if, if they're can... 40 feet here and I still coast this way, I can literally just keep turning this thing. Yep. That's my big thing. The unfortunate reality is sometimes you just. Run them over. Yeah. How do you know it's a walleye? By the way, it is. Do we have each other? <laughs> no. Oh, oh my god. Dude, my my drag slipped. Dude, my line is tangled somewhere. Dude, I got a drag smaller too. Do you? Yeah. Here. These might be bigger, so. Oh. My line's tangled somewhere on my rod. I can't reel. Hand line is Yours is huge. Yeah. Brennan, my god, dude. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> I need some help. <laughs> dude. That's crazy. You got a stud. Look at that thing. Holy, mine is a baby compared to that. Brennan, this is another six pounder, I think. <laughs> yeah, I think so. What a double. Shaking. Oh my. Those are walleye, he says. <laughs> there was another one down there, too. Mm -hmm. Dude. Yeah, that's. That, dude, that's bigger than yesterday, I think. Look at the look at the belly. That's bigger than yesterday's. It's all over it. That is gluttonous. <laughs> that's that's gonna be really close to yesterday's fish. It doesn't have it's the not, shoulders and yeah. the length, but it's got the belly's the bigger. Belly. It's gonna be all over it. Wow. Brennan. That happened quickly. That escalated quickly. <laughs> that did escalate very quick here, dude. Yes, sir. <sighs> Wow, 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 wow. That is a 10 pound double in the yeah, net, dude. They might be going off with this front coming in. I know. It's really, really going off. Mm hmm. It could be. Something just went off. Good work, dude. Just do their, oh, you good work. No, you, you good, good work. work. You good work. Wow. No, just wow. Just wow. We're assembling a mega bag right now, and uh, I don't think we're done because they're biting.
just real quick I caught a 644 yesterday I don't have that on camera um, I'll show you guys a picture I have, a, I have a brief little snippet of that fish catch which is really really cool giant mega 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 fish and I just caught one that's rivaling that 644 I caught yesterday okay Got zeros zeros Guess the weight. 605. Guess higher. 640. 644. Nice fish. <laughs> <laughs> I got it, dude. Second biggest smallmouth I have ever caught. 6.44 um, hair jig TFO 730 or no, 763. I'm shaking so bad, dude. <laughs> I thought it was a walleye when we brought it up. Nice fish. Good job. Thanks, man. Mega gut. Yes. Something's happening right now, and we had said we needed wind, we needed overcast conditions. We're starting to get it, so I'm not going to talk to you guys too much longer, but you guys can see behind me the sky is getting a little bit cloudier. Some clouds out here is a big thing, clean water. The wind out here is a big thing, helps these fish commit to the bait. And the past couple pods of fish we found, the Brennan's big one, first big one, and my big one and Brennan's big fish, they all committed a lot more easily than most of the fish we've seen over the past two days. And I think the big reason why is they can't see the bait quite as well, they're a little bit more committal, they feel the front pushing in, and uh, they're feeding up. So I'm going to get you guys back on the chest camera. I'll show you guys this fish here in a second, but I'm just like... I'm still on top of the world. I'm still shaking a little bit. Dude, in the last 15 minutes, something changed. I think we turn around and go back down that stretch. Like, it was not like, did I get a bite? Yeah, those fish were like, eat them Yeah, because there were multiple fish there. And they knew, like, hey, either I get it, or Buddy gets, or it. Buddy gets it. And I'm not letting Buddy get it. And Buddy is walking. I said about our bass. Oh my god, dude. Just a three and three quarter, I think. I really had to work for that one. Like I had to dart my bait and like go over my head real quick. Mm-hmm. I honestly forgot about the spot yesterday. We didn't even fish it. All it is is the hard spot on the drop outside of this thing. But it's hard to stay on, like it's a very small mm -hmm. Yep. It's like the size of the deck of this boat. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we need like a giant or like another, like right now we have about 20 pounds. We need a giant. Yeah. We need two giants. We need two giants and we can put it at like 25, 24. Please be a big drum. <laughs> yep, they were Walt. No, I don't think so. Oh, that's, that's a small one. That's a small one. Crawfish. Good job. It's a four pounder. Decent one, yeah. <laughs> Scope, that's cool. Mm hmm. That's crawfish for sure. There's the four that we needed. 
That was sick. That was really, really, really sick. Yeah, that was cool. It changes everything, dude. You know what's weird about that fish, by the way? Sorry, while I think about it. Your bait hit bottom, and then that fish like came over to your bait on bottom. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Draws, you said. Mm -hmm. That's why he was keyed in on bottom like that so well. That's interesting. I totally thought that was a walleye. I think we can pick off one kicker on this spot. I really believe that. And then I think we go back to that spot. And that's yeah. really like, there were some big fish over there. That's, that's literally people in like two years from now though. Honestly, like I've heard feel... about the guys that like they won't even fish without them. Like they can't do it. It sucks. Yeah. Like how would you fish this? I mean, I guess you just cast around. Dude. Or you go to that island and you fish the island. Yeah, and get two bites all day maybe if you're lucky. Right. <laughs> but that's real. Like if live scope you're doesn't work, like player on the team. That, it is. It is the player yeah. of the day. Without live scope, she's, she's better than, than me. You know, yeah, you can't do this without the live scope on the boat today. So it's just crazy. But it's part of the way you like. That's the way that we're using it today. Yeah. So like, dude, in like Iowa, in a lot of our man-made lakes, it's purely structure fishing. Like, I think it'll be cool because I'll be able to like go out and do some like nomadic fish fishing with like swim baits and crank baits, spinner baits even. Um, but I I do a lot of structure fishing, so like brush piles and, and stuff like that so I'm jacked to have forward facing sonar it's gonna, be, it's gonna be huge dude like to be able to pull up to a brush pile and see how many fish are on it <laughs> that's huge it was crazy how we rolled up here though and there was that pot of fish up here active aggressive and then as we caught a couple they started moving around and getting lower and yeah even the bait fish are moving which is different interesting i want to talk to you guys really quick while we move to this next spot we're catching them we have about 20 to 22 pounds we've not weighed a single fish so that's just a guesstimate but we have a big big bag going everything on live scope small baits that small swim bait on the homemade uh spin head brennan's got his on a hair jig both of them homemade long rods live scope looking at them catching some fish we're going to move to another area just let these fish settle down stop back here we have about an hour left so an hour left to put two more megas in the boat and if we can do that we're going to end the day with a giant giant bag so we're going to try to make this thing happen and i'll catch you guys here in just a second oh, oh, oh. Woo, these are big dude even the not big ones are big ones okay first one stay with it just in case that wasn't recording. This is our final tally of a weight, a 410, 381, 443. That big baby went 571, 450 for total 22.55 pounds. So 22 and a half pounds, which is just like an epic, epic day. <laughs>